This is Sam Elmos, and I'm playing Wizard 101 again. And in the background there, there is like a, a special secret video saving right there in the background. But anyway, let's go. Um, last time I died twice to the Harvest Lord, and I'm gonna get some new spells to beat him. Yeah, that's right. And wizard one not just one. Okay, good. Um Yep, that's bad. Nope, that's good. Um Hey Bartleby. You have one blue eye that just like keeps blinking. Come on, mana. Mana. I need more mana. Why don't like you're a sphere of mana and I need mana there. Oh, oh, right, I need to go to the commons. But I'm not going to Triton Avenue, I'm going to Unicorn Way. <laughs> to train with the to train with the crazy Spanish accent bearing um, Unicorn Duel Master man thingy. Yeah. Oh, oh, it said, like, nothing, and then it said press X to talk, that's funny. But, in my last, in one of my last videos, he had one of those, uh, tutorial tips on the side of the screen. That was one of his. I don't know why the heck this isn't loading. Oh, there, good. Uh, train. Zero training points. Aha! Hello there! Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. And then he bows and spears me with his wonderful unicorn. Does he have sharp teeth? I can't I couldn't see, but. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. Hi, puppet. Hi, puppet. The clock Let us begin by explaining PowerPoints. You may call them pips for short. Oh. PowerPoints are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at this circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? Oh, okay. You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip. So you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good. You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look. You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other card. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! There's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? 
At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good! See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. This is pretty sweet. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. That's 835 HP. You see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Okay, okay. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the fire elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. I died to that fire elf. <laughs> Good! Now watch what happens next round. And again? Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon. Okay, well, I didn't get any new spells. Let's see if I have any training points. Could you come see me? I need your help. Diego Santiago. No, I don't have any. Greetings, young wizard. Any wizard can duel another. And once you reach. To duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. And come back to me. Feed as a ranked duelist. Click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge. Or to accept another wizard's challenge. You have the chance, and every win will increase your PvP rating. However, you can simply click on the practice pedestal to create a duel, or to accept another win. Practice tools are not recorded and do not affect your PvP rating, but they are a fantastic way to hone your skills. To 
duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. Then come back to me. Oh, I have to look at all of them. Okay. Well, whatever. The tournament pedestal will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standings. Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are enough. You are allowed to take part in a player versus player. Click on the icon above to open the queue status window for more information about your match. Young wizard, I can't wait to tell you about my favorite. Come find me by the water in the commons. Greetings, oh wonderful wizard. Our mutual friend, Headmaster Ambrose, would have words with you if you have a moment to spare. Now you know how to duel another wizard for practice or for ranked status. Don't forget to bring your arena tickets here to... And remember, the ranked PvP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero again. I think I just teleported to my house on accident.
aquatic boat. What pet should I get? just received an egg in your backpack. It's not a pet yet, but once it hatches, you can equip it just as you would any other pet. Harvest Lord in the next video. So, um, stay tuned. Good.